What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. Okay. All right. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. I see some ruins up ahead. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time. Hang on! Oh, I think I bruised something. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Ah, thought this thing was all terrain. You gotta gun it before you hit the hill. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. We're getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Don't spin out the now. rocks. I got it. I got it. in the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the little guy? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 four four with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off road. It might rain, might be muddy. I'll let me go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. Right, hang on tight. Oh, hey. shit. Hey, take this slow, kid. Yeah. So 
Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So, maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to, what, be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. And whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Huh. Bark stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? Oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victory. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <clears throat> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a form of squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, it's still taking a long time.
Now would you look at that? Oh shit, stop, stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. So how long we posted? Yeah. Two orders come in. Any news from the other sites? Nothing yet. We can call them and let them know we're ready. Orders are to sit tight, so we sit tight. We got Wait company. Resources. Just put me in charge. I'll get the whole thing done in half the time. Considering the last time you handled explosives, you nearly blew up everyone in the street. I'd say it's a good thing you're not in charge. Half the time, but I'll be sure to run that by my deal. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait. Yeah. Yeah, he might be. Oh. Okay, I think that's it. Damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out there. They, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? One to go.
again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. <laughs> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Ray? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Ah, hell. Can't jump that high. Car. Just a suggestion. Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard, saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. Pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. <laughs> oh! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. <clears throat> oh, shit! Okay, remind me what we were talking about. Um, go. Oh. Right. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. Check it out, boys. What is it? <laughs> Holy shit. 
Shit, you can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Hey, guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? I can't tell. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. Here we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Hey, what do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? Another sigil. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. And Bonnie. Mm hmm? Operated out of the Caribbean. Thought she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Check out that drawbridge. Sounds good. Hey, be careful, kid. <laughs> Nathan, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the drawbridge crank. All right, I'll see if there's something up here. <laughs> hey, guys. There's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I seen a few. I'll bring the car closer.
two just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know? Keep up the good work, kid. that bridge down. Let's try that again. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? Yeah, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Go 
to take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. <laughs> right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partner how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be part of this. All set. Here we go. Let's not get stuck here. Sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Hold on to something. Ah, ah that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Uh, almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Careful with that thing, kid. Heads up. Then heads up.
too? And he's up. Sam, wait up! Come on! Hey, there! Get there! This way! He seems excited. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. Don't see a treasure, though. You guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... That's, that's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown is King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery's sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here.
Hey, what are you doing? He's confirming his suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed, okay? Because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Less great, Nathan, because neither do we. Guess we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that no, one. No, 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 no. Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. <laughs> but we've seen crazy before. That we have. It's a lemur. Come on, come say hi. That's all right. <laughs> so cute. Whoa! Hey! Hey, Sully! Hey! He stole my apple! Can't trust anyone these days. Can't you? You know what? After this is over and done with, I'm gonna get a dog. Hey. We come out of this in one piece, I'll buy you the damn dog. Can I name it Victor? <laughs> sure. Oh, man. Something smells really good. Mm, that's right. It does smell good. It's <clears throat> passing through. Excuse me. Hey, here we go. Locked. I guess we're gonna have to sneak in. Discreetly. Implied by the use of the word sneak. Sully, I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. <clears throat> Jesus. Long way down. You okay back there? You keep your pace. I'll keep mine. <clears throat> yeah, I like that. 
At least you got a great view, right? <clears throat> Okay, let's see what we got. Edward England sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait. back. your fingers, Nate. Can I be nervous? No, good. Trust me.
Warriors. Always nice people. view.
hands are lined up. I can get across. There you are. Okay, Sully, I made it. This is gonna be loud. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to right. do it. You all right? Hey, look. The coin. You want it? Yeah, sure. Why not? See what's down here. Fingers crossed for piles of gold and jewels. Sam, finally, you okay? Just search my towel. I, I got nothing. Yeah? No. We're definitely in the right place. Make your way over here. Are you serious? Uh, okay, I'm on my way. He's coming. Good. Sully. Way ahead of you. Whoa. Hey, 
those our boys? Yep. Henry Avery, Thomas too. Partners in crime. Founders. Founders of what? Worst scavenger hunt ever? <laughs> there are Avery and two sigils. These are a little different, though. Yeah. They got those star patterns on them. They turn. But which way are they supposed to go? Just a second. More pirate symbols. Adam Baldridge, Anne Bonney, and uh, Christopher Condent. I mean, there's, there's too many permutations. I say we see where that door leads. Still hoping for some treasure, yeah? You and me both. Hey, look, I was right. Baldridge, Bonnie, and Condit. Splendid. But why are they here in the first place? Well, let's find out. Oh, that mustache. It's almost as impressive as yours. <laughs> it's hmm. all right. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nah. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Nada. Nah. Hey, look at these stars. They're just like the ones on the Avery and Two sigils in the other room. Right. Ah, uh, that's right. Content went by Billy One Hand. Here's another one of those star patterns. Yeah, but this one's different than that first one. Oh, yeah. Good catch. Thank you. See, I'm not just a pretty face. What do you think? Those Avery and Two sigils. The stars on those lined up, remember? I bet these line up, too. Hmm. They are, uh... You don't know, do you? Hey, there were a lot of pirates out there, you know? So we're stuck. No, we're not stuck. Would you... Give me your phone. What, you're gonna phone a friend? Close. 
Text a brother. There. You know, these are actually some nice paintings. If we don't find the treasure, maybe we could sell them to a museum. Let's find those star patterns. Okay, just saying. Hey, Sully, give me a hand. You got it. Thanks. Is it straight? Who the hell cares? Well, I care. William Mays. God, look at yeah, Farrell's from face. Rhode Island. Just like Looks Thomas, like too. would rather be anywhere else. Hmm. Here we go. Hey, you still in the tower? Yeah, I just uh, climbed back down. What's with the picture you just sent? I'll fill you in later. For now, just tell me who's who. Well, the, the dolphins are Richard Warren, the trident is Joseph Farrell, and the two hands with the pearl is William Mays. All right, great. Just stay where there's good reception. I might need your help again. Nathan, did you find the treasure? No, not yet, but I got a mechanism to solve here. I'll let you know. Books, globe. This Wont guy looks like a scholar. Hey, Richard Wont. He was the captain of the Dolphin. Whew. Looks like he and Baldridge were in a best wig competition. There. You know, I'm honestly shocked you don't know this stuff. No, I, I do. I just want to make sure Sam knows. You know, because he likes to feel useful, that's all. Aha, uh -huh. of course. Shit, what happened here? A uh, torch probably fell or something. Come on, let's see what's left. I don't recognize this guy. Looks a lot younger than the other pirates. That's one. Oh, Sam texted me back. Now, see there, Sully? Turns out Sam doesn't know everything either. Gloating is unseemly. Yeah, I know. Let's just look at the paintings. Huh. No name. This guy's get-up looks Moorish. Stars, but who are you? Huh. Yazid al Basra. Looks Indian. Close. Muggle. Wait, not the muggles, the ones Avery robbed? Honor among thieves. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever the case. Nada. 
That's three. Edward England. Stout little fellow. And four. All right, I got the names of two of them. We should still be able to figure this out.
people. Ah. What do we got? Uh, not sure yet. Maybe send it to Sam? Really? Hey, you're the one who said he's the pirate expert. Just saying. Okay, that's one. And two. Last one. All right, let's see what he makes of them. You know, that kind of looks... Huh. What are you doing? You just took pictures. Hold that. You know, Avery's recruits wouldn't have had smartphones, obviously. Obviously. So this would have been the only way for them to get to the next clue. <laughs> These are clues. Yeah, let me see. Voila. <laughs> oh, all right. These could be trade winds. Yeah, and these look like latitudes. Yeah. And I would guess that we are packing our bags again, Boyle. What? Prodeus quod licentia. Oh, no, it can't be. Can't be what? Oh my god, it's so obvious. Nate. Why didn't I see this before? Jesus, enough of the beautiful mind shit. What the hell are you talking just, just, about? Hang on. Sam, did you get the photos? <laughs> Here I am. I'm calling what I thought was Sullivan's phone, and look who picks up. How you been, Nate? Hey, Rafe. <laughs> it's been a long time. How did you get this number? Sullivan leave it on a cocktail napkin? <laughs> I wish. That only would have cost me a few shots of rum, right? No, no, I had to pay top dollar to find you guys. Yeah. I hope you didn't spend too much on this whole Avery thing. I hear the competition's fierce. Yeah, you pulled off some clever moves there. But in the end, all that matters is who gets to Avery's treasure first. <laughs> well, that sounds like a bet. Hey, Nate, you know I'm always game, but my partner... Well, she prefers to mitigate unnecessary risks. Wow, Rafe Adler, taking orders from somebody else. Oh, how times have changed. Look, Nate, I'm gonna make you a one-time offer here. You drop everything. Go home, live your life. And I'm willing to forgive and forget. For old time's sake. As tempting as that sounds, Rafe. I gotta say, I'm not normally the kind of guy who likes to quit while he's ahead. Okay. Rodeus quote licentia, forgotten liberty. These are nice pictures, Nate. Good composition. You hacked our phones. You stole my cross. Listen, Nate. If you're half as smart as you think you are, you'll accept my offer. What's it gonna be? Listen, as nice as it's been to catch up with you, I really gotta take this call, so... Well, Nate, one more thing. Nate! What? You, uh, you do realize that your phones are equipped with GPS, right? I'll see you soon, buddy. Shit. Let me guess. Goons with guns on their way here now. Sam, for God and liberty. Nathan, do you understand what this means? Sam, listen to me. Get off the streets right now and destroy your phone. What's going on? Rafe knows where we are. Right, you gotta find some place to hide. Sam? Sam! Damn it. Hey! Buy a new one. Nate, over here. That's Sam's Tower. Oh, it's definitely Sam's Tower. Come on. This way. 
Pardon me. Excuse me? Excuse me, what? How long you think before Rafe gets here? <laughs> Let's not stick around to find out. Sorry, pal. Come on, down here, Nate. Nate, watch out! Just gonna cut through here! Move in, move in. 
am I supposed to do now? Hey, up those stairs! Here we go! Oh, go! Man, Rafe really wants us out of the picture! Do you think? <laughs> I think we lost him! Hey, Nate? Yeah? We can never, ever come back to this city. Add it to the list. Ah. Whoa, 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 watch it! Really? You got a 4 by 4 go around. Sam's tower's at the bottom of this hill. Keep going down.
Way you could have survived that. Why chance it? I think the coast is clear. Yeah. All right. Pro Deus cor licentia. This looks like a simple cipher. Forgotten liberty. I Means their damn motto. All the paradise references. I can't believe they missed it. See you two made it out, okay? Way better than okay. We found the Battaglia. <laughs> Liberty. Liber what are you? Libertalia. Seems Avery founded the legendary pirate colony. Uh, it's more of a pirate utopia, really. Okay, but what about the treasure? See, as the story goes, this place provided a safe haven for hundreds, maybe even thousands of pirates, and they, they shared everything. Property, resources... Money? And they kept it all in one common treasury building. Okay. So, where is this Kami Pirate Sanctuary. Right here. That island, just northeast of Kings Bay. <laughs> hey, Rafe has a copy of this. Yeah, well, by the time Rafe figures it out, we'll be well on our way to Libertalia. I'm telling you, that treasure is as good as ours. <laughs> Shit. How's the Malaysia job going, Nate? Seems like you're a hair off course. Elaine, it's... It's not what it looks like. Really? Because what it looks like is that you're searching for Henry Avery's buried treasure. And given the shoreline soldiers that are all over town, I'd bet you're not the only ones looking for it. 
All right, well, I, I guess it's kind of what it looks like. But, but I can explain. Look, it's gonna sound crazy. Try me. Well, for starters, um, this is uh, Sam. Sam Drake, my brother. I'm sorry. I, I thought he had died in a Panamanian Neat. jail, but I was obviously very wrong. He's been stuck in there for 15 years, and it's because of me. And the guy who broke him out wants a lot of money, and the only way we can pay off the debt is Avery's treasure. But, but that's the good news. We, we found it. it it's, it's on an island just off the coast. Okay, just stop. Was there ever a Malaysia job? Elena, wait! I don't get you. Look, I, I wanted to tell you. You know what? Enough! No, I wanted to, but how could I? I don't know. Just say it. I had to protect you. That is bullshit, Nate. You just didn't have the nerve to face me again. I, I knew you would react like this. How would you react? You lied to me. For weeks. If you were killed, I... I wouldn't have even known about it. And now you have a brother. Who are you? Come on. I'm me. Come on, it's me. It's different this time. Oh my God. I have to save him. I don't even care about the treasure. The look on your face when you walked into this room. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. I got a plane to catch. You do what you have to do. Hey. Hey, what are you doing? Go after her. We're not done here. Well, maybe we should be. What are you saying? I'm saying maybe there's a smarter way to save Sam. Such as? Such as we give him a new identity. We, we put him in hiding somewhere. He's I got been contact. in prison for 15 years. He's not going into hiding. OK, fine. You go after your wife. Sam and I will head off for Libertalia. Without me? Come on, you'll get both of you killed. <laughs> really? <laughs> Kid, I've been doing this for a hell of a long time. I think I might be able to handle. Hey, you want to be helpful, Sullivan? Go keep an eye on her. Whatever you say. Got it. Let's go pack your bags.